What's going on guys, it's really Riley here and today I'm going to show you how to create start menu programs from standalone.exe files. Let's get into it. So let's say you just downloaded uh, an exe file like this autoclicker.exe. Uh, go check out my video on this if you haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, so this this is just an, an exe file. This is literally the program itself. It's not contained, it's not an installer, so it doesn't move any files into your um, programs folder. Uh, this is your programs folder over here. This You go to this PC, local disk C, and then your programs, program files, or and this one. These are both for, this one's for dot, uh, time 64, x64 programs, and this is for 32-bit programs. So these are, this is where all of your programs that show up here are saved. So all we have to do is move our .exe into here. But there's a specific way to do that, and this is how. So for now, we're just gonna save this and move it over here. We're also gonna open up uh, our downloads, which is where our .exe is. What we have to do is move that into this program files uh, folder. So let's go ahead and create our own folder in here. So what I just typed was Control Shift N, and that's uh, how you make a new folder or you can just right click and then new folder but what you're gonna have to do is allow uh, you're gonna need administrator privileges to do this okay so we create our new folder and we're gonna name it auto clicker specifically this application is actually OP auto clicker okay so now that we have this we're gonna move our auto clicker into there and again it's this this folder is protected for security reasons so we need administrator privileges to go ahead and put this here but yeah okay so we're done with that and now we have it in this folder now what we need to do is get it into the start menu program go ahead and type uh, and press windows r and that brings up this box and then you, your text might be blank but what you need to do is type in this string and then press ok this is going to open up the folder where all of your um, start menu programs are. So now I'm going to head over to this, back to here, the auto clicker. We're going to we're going to click it, make sure it's highlighted, right? It's not highlighted. Now it's highlighted. We're going to hold right click, move our mouse back over here, and release. And then it's going to bring up this hamburger menu. We're going to click create shortcuts here. Okay, so it just created a shortcut. And actually, if you open the start menu. That shortcut should show up. It it might not, but it, don't worry if it doesn't. It will if you restart your computer. We can also rename this. To rename it, you can right click and rename, or you can highlight it and press F2. Okay, so I'm going to rename it here. Auto clicker. Op auto clicker. And then press enter, and it's renamed. It might not show up. It, it, yeah, it might not update. But it will once you restart your computer. But yeah, that's how you get um, any.exe into um, the start menu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, please leave a comment. I'd love to know why you didn't like it. And have a good one, guys. That's all I got.